So it's, a, you know, obviously a really great day. I mean, you think about, um, you know, this is one of those issues where everybody ought to be in agreement that we need to help people that uh, play by the rules that really only want to do one thing, and that's help their children. And uh, this, had, this had waited around for too long, and I'm just thrilled that uh, people are going to have this coverage. It's going to help kids, and, you know, it's all been said better at the podium than... Uh, than anything I can add right here, but it, this is why, this is one of the reasons why you're governor. It's I told my wife last night. This is one of the real reasons you can really help people in this job, and uh, you just can't let politics get in the way. Governor, how do you reconcile the fact that you supported the the health care freedom amendment, and the Tea Party says that this is a direct violation of what what voters approved in November of 2011? Oh, well, look, I mean. When it comes to the individual mandate, when it comes to the uh, the issue of insurance bans, uh, these are really troubling issues for me. Uh, at the same time, however, you know, we've had an election, we have the law of the land. Uh, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to kick up my heels on, on various parts of this bill. But when it comes to this issue, um, this is a critical issue, I believe, for the families. And it doesn't matter whether you're a liberal, whether you're a conservative, what would, you know, this is, a, this is really a family issue therefore it's kind of a moral issue to me um, can we can we help our children to realize their god-given destiny and uh, so that's kind of the way I look at it and I, I think it's what the people of the state would want but it's a mandate so that that part of the, it's a mandate that doesn't bother well look I mean the fact is it's been fashioned in such a way that it's reasonable um, you know you're not going to see some giant escalation I mean if you take a look at Ohio State University you take a look at White Castle their experiences have been good, and um, so I, you know, I create as positive a business environment as we can. Um, I've, I've not heard anything, frankly, from people I've talked to about this other than thank you. I don't have anybody calling me up saying we shouldn't do this because I think everybody knows they're they're just fortunate that they don't have to meet these challenges. So, and I believe we put it together in such a way that the impact uh, on businesses will be minimal. Uh, what I'm concerned about is the longer-term impact of what's going to happen to insurance rates in our state uh, whenever we, whenever the, um, the rate, the uh, bands that uh, insurance companies use are collapsed, we're going to see a significant increase in insurance costs. I've talked to Mary Taylor, who runs insurance. It's, this is going to be a very tough and serious issue, far more than, uh, than any impact that this is going to have. Do you have any thoughts on the former governor? 